All right, we're on the go with Joe in Silverton this morning. He's at an event with more than a million Christmas lights, a holiday market, ice skating, and more. Joe is here now to tell us about Christmas in the Garden. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Kim. I'm back now with my uh, skating partner here, Brittany Hatterberg, from the uh, Oregon Garden. Christmas in the Garden is underway here. Brittany, we're going to try to get through this without falling down, uh, since we're both on skates right now. I want to show some video to our uh, audience right now. This is from earlier this morning, just so you can kind of see, first of all, the massive light display. You have, what, about a million lights? Yes, more than a million. And I, I was talking about this earlier. You know, I started covering this event back when you started it seven mm -hmm. years ago way back when uh, you were here <laughs> and uh, th I mean it really has grown like every year you're adding something yes. it's getting bigger and bigger and it really is one of the more impressive displays that you see uh, in the area but there's a whole lot more and that's if we can come back live now this is one of the uh, very cool things because there's a lot of cool light displays but they don't have an indoor skating rink like you guys have tell me about this part of it yes, let's, so let's this, go okay let's go going. So this is our fourth year of the ice skating rink. Uh -huh. um, we have day skate and night skate sessions. So there's lots of options for everyone um, throughout and, the season. And how are you holding up on the skates now that you've uh, been doing this for four years? We're getting better. I did not grow up ice skating. Uh, it's only through this job that I've ever actually had to put, put some skates on and I'm able to stay a little bit upright. <laughs> but but there's different ways that you can you can do this, right? You got little assist things that the yes, kids can use. We have and that sort seals, of thing, right? so kids can ride on yep. them. Adults can hold on to them, so they yes. don't fall down too. Adults can ride on them. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can go here. <laughs> Speaking of which, that's going to bring us to a very special guest. Now we're going to show you. We've got actually a celebrity sighting uh, here at the Oregon Garden today. Uh, let's see if you can guess who he is. Now. He was made of snow, but you know, the children know how he came to life this one day. He had a corn cob pipe, a button nose, and I believe two eyes made out of coal. Ladies and gentlemen, Frosty the Snowman is here. Frosty, it's nice to see you. So, Brittany, is, is Frosty making appearances here at Christmas in the Garden? He will randomly. Okay. As will Santa. Santa's until, here as well. Yep, through the 23rd. Santa okay. will be here every night. Okay, now, this is going to shock you. Apparently, snowmen, not great skaters. <laughs> but I'm going to, this is with the little seal. So, if you can't skate, you find a friend, and I'll be your friend, Frosty, and they can push you around. Now, uh, Brittany, Christmas in the Garden runs through what, January the 5th? Through January 5th, yeah. We'll be closed on December 24th and 25th. That, oh, okay. As always, we'll have more information at kptv.com. Uh, there's also snow with inner tubing. Do you want to try some of that a little bit later, Frosty? What do you think? Okay. Then what else is that you said? Go faster? Oh, yeah, I can go faster, Frosty. Yeah, no problem. All right. So, Kim, we're going to have a lot more coming away from Christmas in the Garden. I think I hear Frosty screaming. Okay. Slow down, you said? <laughs> Okay. How fun is this? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's fun. Lots more coming away from Christmas in the garden. Okay, Frosty's either sweating or melting a little bit. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. Uh, lots more heading your way in just a bit. Back to you in the studio. Uh, what a great way to get in the holiday spirit, you know, especially if you're going to be out there this weekend, mm -hmm. you know, ahead of Christmas. Yep, all kinds of so great things to do. So much to do out there. So much to do. So little time. I know. Try to do all of it.